Janice with Cat. We have Ellie's for Nomi, Pirates for Greta. Swapping Greta is very powerful in Janice. But Undead are only in half the games, so a lot of people thinking their oppressive will stop. Um, what do you mean with that? Stop thinking they're oppressive, hmm. Easy cats. I wonder if I can reform curve this. Obviously huge advantage to doing that here. This curve might not work either. I kind of want to just play it by ear, see what happens. Could have also double sold to Sally to bite a cat now. That's really the argument there. Because I don't think you can tip this turn. Oh, that would be great. No bad outcome here. I don't think so. I think we can just try to hit the triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think if you're going for two sixes, this curve can work. Because you get to, um, you don't get to swap on seven gold. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. And I don't want to hit it straight away, but if it happens, we'll figure it out. Yeah, now you could reform curve here, right? Freeze, tear, play. Next turn you do have to swap. Because I do have money here to make it uh, more likely that I can make my play. Yeah, that's definitely a bit of a curveball to start off the stream. Oh, second game. But even though it's not conventional, there's a lot of logic behind it, because if you are going for sixes, tippers keep you strong. So this would be the normal reform curve line. We're getting up to three six drops that turn as well, if the tipper gets swapped. We might also get one five drop if the tipper gets swapped right now. I don't think I want to pull it off the board. Which is why you could opt to not swap, but then you don't have that Uther swap available. A lot of, uh, a lot of theory behind this. I think better save than sorry is just buy the cat right now. And then if you do swap the tipper, we'll take a five. That is the... You could throw the droplet from the board, but I think I just take the mummy off. So one five and the next turn pop off. I mean, I guess if I get Nomi here, I might just take a bunch of fives. Yeah. Alright, let's pull the trigger on a bunch of fives then. Oh, 
<laughs> okay, I gotta go fast. Jesus, this is gonna be stupid. Golden one just for funsies. I could play a honker. White Fang does jack shit, right? Well, this is your classic turn six, Jandis. Have a game plan now? Yeah, this is very, very. Because you're not just hitting double no me. Yeah. <laughs> Andy's not happy, man. He looks at this board. Andy had never seen such bullshit on turn six before. <laughs> But yeah, the uh, the cool thing is that we're Jandis, so you can swap an elemental in the shop, which is super powerful with Nomi. Oh, well. <laughs> I think you buy this, because Selly is so, so insanely good. Cats, sure. That's a pair, we'll see. Yeah. Alrighty, chat. Let us start rolling. 70 seconds, okay. Hire some new guys. Just don't tell them what happened to the last batch. I'll do what I can. Womp womp. It's fine. Oh, you go through your minions faster than I go through my henchmen. And I love it. What's the strongest line here? I think you might just swap the Risen Rider in the shop here. To Try to hit one of the alleys by the other one. Then you get a tip as well. Not sure if I bother freezing this. Probably not. I just want Salamental and stuff. Swapping an alley did not make that much sense to me yet, because I wouldn't play a full board. And if you have two Nomis, all you have to care about is keeping your health as high as possible. Because you win anyway. Yeah, there's a Peggy. Normally the Peggy would be the, the nuts, right? But it's just, you have two Nomis. There's no need to explore this Hogger line. Like the game does, the game gets very, very streamlined if you hit two nomies. It's just very straightforward. You did it! You survived, and I have no idea how. Hire some new guys. Smogger is a good one to rotate. You could also opt to rotate the cyclone just to make it bigger. I'm just gonna kick this, I think. But, uh, it's still 15. You could use this to buy um, small things. I could also switch Felemental. That buffs all my future minions, but I just need tempo, so Smogger is probably stronger. I mean, there is just Swap Cyclone, yeah. Do this and then trade one more if we hit. Sixteen, nineteen. Is it still better than this? Hey, I said no refund. All right. The swapping apply to Nomi every buff. It catches it up. So if it's a small minion and I swap it in the shop, it'll get brought up to speed to what the buff is supposed to be. Could have sold the gambler. 
Could have. But I don't have anything that promotes the cycling of Gambler, right? Or am I missing something? You did it! You survived, and I have no idea how. I do still like this, because you only need to hit one elemental and it makes it all worth it. <laughs> uh... Oh. I'm gonna stay on tier four. Not much reason to tier. So I can swap something else in, but I think I'm just going to make the Wraith big now. Yeah. Yeah, we just need to not take damage, so. Seems better. Just don't be dumb, right? Increase the duration where you can keep two Nomis on your board. Then you just win the game anyway. They tripled twice. That's good. The fact that I have two Nomis helps a lot, of course. But tripling twice so early is nasty, but I guess it's Zephyrus, yeah. It's so good that we kill them, because they're going after our units. Like, that's a good board, right, with 59 health, 36 health, but... We got a pretty unfair advantage here. I think the smogger buff probably doesn't matter if I throw it here or not, but I'll just put it on the shield in case it doesn't end up mattering. Alright, so now you have to decide whether you just swap the smogger back in or whether you just make a big cleave. I think you just make a big cleave. What's my Nomi buff up to? I can't tell, it's not in the shop right now. The <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, this this is why I said, not only do we hit double Nomi, we hit it on Jandas. Oh, dear lord, that's illegal. Jesus. Holy shit. I forgot that's an option. How much money do I need? I'm just gonna push this in, right? Put on Murloc Lobby. I could just take this roll and end with a full board. That's the conservative line. I think conservative is probably okay here. I regret my conservative line because I didn't hit an elemental. I just buy this thing and absorb some shields and then next turn do stuff. Jesus, right, you can just roll Kronormu. Dude, this is filthy. Absolutely filthy. I hope you win. It will be good for my franchise. This person does not have a 108 health dragon on turn 10. That's funny. That seems like a mistake. Should probably make a 108 health dragon if you can. Jesus, yeah. Dragons in when you high roll Nomi is absolutely filthy. This minion's just kind of broken, man. There's too many ways this is too good. Like, this minion is already amazing if you're not buffing the shop. 
And I mean, if you're buffing the shop, it's completely keg W. Completely keg W. I don't think I care too much here. Roll by. Oh, Jesus. The stupid part is that I can just rebuild my board in no time, so fuck it. Freeze it? Freezing it doesn't do anything, because I'm not magically going to get more elementals. I'm not magically going to get more elementals by freezing it. And it's perfect timing, right? We're fighting a ghost, you just trade everything, and then you just buy more elementals. Like, Nomi has no problem filling the board with big minions in one turn. That's just what Nomi does. Because every minion, every elemental you buy is big. Golden Cronormu can be in the shop if you're playing Denathrius or Ticketus. Ticketus has a prize that makes a golden minion in the shop, and Denathrius has quests that can make it golden in the shop. Jandis cannot switch golden minions, so that wouldn't work. Jesus. I'm just gonna buy every alley I see. I've got two Nomis. No problem with that. <laughs> this is so stupid. Alright. Uh, Might just not swap this turn. Either that or you could just put the Felimental back in. But you want to end on a full board, right? Let's see, we got 60 seconds to figure this out. If I switch the Feli back in, assuming I miss. I sell the Dud. That's two gold. Sell the Anomaly, that's three gold. I buy the Feli, I could freeze. Swap the Dragon. Buy the dragon and freeze, right? Oh my god. Oh my oh. Jesus, dude. Now that is proper illegal gameplay. <laughs> Alright, we got it far enough back to dodge the queen, hopefully. That's basically the only thing that we care about. Yeah. Nope. Still goes into queen. Fucking love it. Luckily, I have a random 90 health elemental, so should be fine. Man, he got some sweet ass traits, though. Actually, gonna beat me. I love how I put it all the way in the back, and then my minions are like, wait, 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 and into the queen. <laughs>
I don't hate if I swap into the alley, right? No. Alright, now we're done with this. This is now officially poison or I win the or I win the fight, so we're done swapping this one. Worth all the way in the back. It's kind of all the way in the back. I guess I could have put a Nomi in the front for bumping, yeah. But I, for my definition, that was pretty far in the back, yeah. Alright, I guess I just trade out my small Wraith for a bigger Wraith. Or do I want the pair? I guess I want the pair. I can switch it next turn. Muffin. This hoot. This hoot. Jesus, I don't know what's up with it right now. Alright, so... Shield into this. I don't think putting it behind the Nomis matters, and I kind of like this setup. Yeah, we can roll a second Chronarmo now. It's true. Oh, this person might have a Leroy, otherwise he has no chance. No Leroy, no party. God, this is so fundamentally unfair. <laughs> and and normally you'd say, ah, we went overboard, we made this too big, but you're playing Nomi, so you're just you're buying 50-50s from the shop anyway, so you're constantly selling 50-50 worth of stats anyway when you're playing Nomi. I guess I tear now. It's literally free. I could swap the small one back in, right, to catch it up. I think so, yeah. I don't think I want to swap Chronarmo anymore. Glad you're doing business with you. <laughs> the fuck do I even do with this? I mean, you could throw it all on the dragon next turn, <laughs> but it's so dumb. They already they already lose if this survives, right? So I don't need to do that. I I need to make uh, a different position, right? Muffin, holy shit! Sorry guys, but she's just she's pushing it, man. I think I just buy both the rags and roll. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Just try to triple shit. Yeah. Just trying to triple shit at this stage. If you perform well, we might do another puzzle Alright. So this guy, one big thing. Just roll and triple. Roll and triple. I'm gonna put this in the shop, I think.
Keeping both my Nomis, fuck that. It's kind of awkward. I guess I could sell one Nomi if I just buy this. I guess I sell one Nomi, yeah. Bleh. I don't like it. No, it. Has to be done. <laughs> it went here. Thank you, Ball. It's like wonderful decision to buff that minion. Yeah. All right. I hope you win. It will be good for my Yeah, I really didn't want to sell Nomi, but it just doesn't make any sense to not sell Nomi. Because <laughs> we we already outstat them. You know, five times over, so. We don't really need more stats, we just need cleave, shields, poison protection. But this is so illegal, man. How is this minion a card? So completely ridiculous. Alright, we're just trying to find another Chronormu now, I guess. The stats don't matter. I may as well just chase the Chronarmo for fun. So triple and Chronarmo. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And then, I guess, Nomi goes for the last one. Jesus, man. This is so incredibly stupid. Alright, I have this here to try and remove shield from Queen so this doesn't put Pega into it. That's not enough Leroy's, my man. That's not enough Leroy's. Holy crap, man. The moment you realize, the moment I realized that I could put this back in the shop, I was like, oh wow, this is way worse than I thought. Because <laughs> you have to you have to think about it in these terms. Chronormal is already insanely good if your shop isn't buffed. Because it allows you to move all your stats to one unit and then rebuild and you get a much bigger board. But with Nomi, you're you're literally selling 40, 40, 50, 50 worth of stats. Holy crap! Like this this is not okay, right?